All right, today I'm at the bullhead pond that I found a while back. I'm going to see if I can catch some bullheads with the Team Catfish Fiber Nuggets. Now these Fiber Nuggets are actually pretty old now. I've had them for a very long time, so it'll be interesting to see if they still work after, I don't know, a year or two. It does say no refrigeration needed, and they've just been sitting out this whole time. And I'm targeting bullheads specifically because I have a flathead trip coming up in April. A client that booked a trip last year rebooked this year in April and wants to chase some flathead catfish. So I figured I'd try to chase and catch some unique bait for him. When I go flathead fishing, I'm going to be taking live bluegill. I'm going to attempt to catch some bullheads and I should have fresh skipjack with me as well. So I have a smorgasbord of baits out to catch some flatheads with. So let's get bait on the hook and see what I catch. It's still doughy, so that's really good. And I'm using a one-aught Team Catfish double action circle hook. I'm going to use the famous guardrail rod holder today. Now I may publish this video if I don't catch anything. I wanna show you guys my new bait tank setup. It'd be an added bonus if I actually catch anything cause I can put it into the bait tank and show you guys exactly how it works. Hopefully I catch something. A few moments later. It's still holding on the hook really good. I reeled this back in. It looks like it's been nibbled on by something. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this to the rocks over here. Clinton was catching some off these rocks, so maybe they're congregated in this area. I really hope I don't get skunked today because this will be the absolute first time this bait has skunked me. Every single time I've taken this bait out and fished with it, I've caught fish with it. However, this spot, this is not the first time that this spot has skunked me. I've been fishing here a few times and I either catch bullheads or I don't catch anything. Let's get this moved over. I do have some rain coming this way too. However, I have a GoPro now, so rain isn't gonna stop me from recording. I'll give this about an hour, maybe two hours, and then I'll move on to showing you guys the bait tank. This is why they call it fishing and not catching. Well, you win some, you lose some. I'm gonna try moving to a different pond that's close to this one and see if I can actually catch a fish. And then after that pond, I'm going to go to another bullhead spot. I'm going to try my best to catch a fish today. Boy oh boy, they have changed up my fishing area here at this pond. In the distance over there is where I caught the first catfish on the Team Catfish Fiber Nugget bait. And what they've done, they've dug it out and they put down a bunch of mulch. So it's kind of impossible to fish there. Not really impossible, but I don't want to be walking around and all that new whatever is going on over there. Not only that, they added this new walkway right here, which is actually in the pond. Just over there was where I was fishing in the video above with my strawberry hot dog bait. And I didn't catch anything with it at this spot. That video is actually becoming one of my more popular videos on this channel. Now this spot is unique because this is where all the water drains out of the pond. So you would think this would be a good fishing spot. What I normally see is people fishing that bank over there. That must be the deepest area of the pond. But I'm gonna give this a try right here. Because it looks like it's a fishing spot that was designed by the county or the city. This is basically a city duck pond. So let's see if I can catch something here.
It'd be nice if they would have put some rod holders in here. This has become a really interesting day. All right, I'm going to give this another hour or two, and then I'm going to move to my bullhead spot. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys my new bait tank setup. I think with what I've run into today, it's going to be unique enough to publish this video whether I catch a fish or not. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Wow, the guy over there just caught an absolutely enormous largemouth bass. Huge. That thing looks like four pounds, maybe five pounds. I didn't know they got that big in this pond. I do know they haven't stocked this pond with catfish in over a year. Last year they didn't do it and I, I forgot the reason why they didn't. I hope they stock it with some catfish this year. I want to come back and catch some catfish off of this brand new walkway. And I'll definitely bring you guys with me. I'm kind of happy the rain is actually missing me too, so I don't have to get wet. And I'm going to give this, I don't know, an hour or more, and then I'm going to move to that bullhead spot, which I've been talking about multiple times on this video. It's hard to not say the same thing over and over again, especially when you're not catching anything. It is a nice day to be out though. on the way over here. Finally a fish on. This guy's got some weight to him. Ah, oh, it is a little one. Success. I guess I'll call this video Chasing Catfish with Team Catfish Fiber Nuggets. Maybe I can use this as a thumbnail as well. I still haven't figured out the camera of what the best position would be for a thumbnail. Just your typical pond channel catfish. So even though they didn't stalk them last year, they're still in here. I'm gonna let this guy go. The video is now officially not skunked. If he was any bigger, he would have taken the rod in the water. But the circle hook did its job and I still have bait on to continue to use. Although I'm gonna rehook it. All right, let's see if I can catch another one. I'm starting to get bites on both rods now. I know it's probably not showing up on camera. But it goes to show this older bait is still working pretty good. And I think I'm going to reel them in and check them because it might have stripped the bait off the hook. It's quite possible. Still on there. It's hooked really good too, so I'm just going to toss this back out there. I'm going to check this one too. It's been a little while. No, we got the bait on this one. And this is the one that caught the fish earlier. I think I'm gonna drop this straight down behind the camera. I was talking to a guy earlier who said that they used to try to cast and get over in this area, kind of where the camera is, to catch fish. And they caught some good catfish that way. And now that there's this walkway here, it provides cover. So maybe if I drop it straight down, I'll catch some catfish. I'll leave this one out here and see what happens.
not that deep. Well, there haven't been any bites in a little while now, so I'm going to move to the bullhead spot and see if I can get a bullhead today. So I should be there in exactly one second. Now it just rained here, so it makes this spot really, really slick. There's a plastic mat and then a bunch of mud on the mat right here at this kayak ramp launch thingy that they made. I know that I've almost slid in the water a couple of times here. So what I'm going to do to try to fish this spot, I'm going to try fishing it from up here. Now to be honest with you guys, this looks like a fantastic flathead spot. Let me show you why. There's a really nice lay down going on in the water. Perfect spot for flatheads to hide in or bullhead catfish. And got some sticker bushes here. I'd be fine. Let's see if I can catch something at this spot. I'm going to take a whole piece and break it in half. Put one right at the lay down, and then the other I'm gonna put out in the middle. Maybe I'll catch something here. I'm actually running out of time, so I'm gonna give this about an hour. Well, the birds are out in full force, but I don't think the fish got the memo. No bites yet, and it's going to start getting dark soon. I want to show you my new bait tank setup before it gets too dark to film. I will come back to this spot someday. It looks really good, and I want to throw some live bait in here once it starts warming up to see if I could get a flathead in this creek. Without further delay, here's my bait tank. And here is the bait tank. So what I've done here, I have cut off the top of the tote. That way I can easily catch the fish in the tote. The way I had it configured earlier was there was a hole in it and I had to reach through the hole and chase the fish and it was hard to catch the fish in the tote. I did keep the drain so this can fill up to almost the top of this before it starts draining out through the drain. And I actually made a mistake with this. It actually rained really good the past couple of days and I didn't catch any of the water because I forgot to close the bottom drain. So it all drained out. Now with the bucket filter, I changed from the 20 to $30 hose to about $5 worth of PVC pipe. In fact, I have extra PVC pipe left over I can use elsewhere. Now I know this video was kind of all over the place. I was hoping to catch a bunch of bullheads at that one spot so I wouldn't have to move anywhere else. Instead, I didn't catch a single bullhead in this video. But that's okay, I was able to catch a little channel catfish and a few other unique things happened on the video. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to it. I try my best to post weekly content. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and thank you again for watching. I will see you next time.